one taste called a skull. We're all used to table settings wherein everybody gets an individual plate and maybe a side plate and a pudding plate and a and a mug or if you're being a bit posh maybe a cup and a saucer but in the kind of house that this is for centuries any notions of refinement like that would have been pretty laughable uh, they might have been an aspirational idea towards that but it was a thing that only the gentry did because of course you need to have disposable income in order to be able to buy ceramic plates and things like that so what people had done for many centuries and still was clinging on in the early, even the middle of the 19th century was eaten out of a thing like this. Now the way it was operated was that um, the food was served up communally. Uh, generally speaking what would happen is that the, the, the fish, if it was fish they were having, would be in the middle of the skull. And the tatties were arranged around the side and Houses long ago in Shetland, they didn't have a table because a table was a, generally a, a bit of a, a waste of space and literally a waste of space because it was taking up a lot of room it used to be a flat surface on it and the space in your old fashioned Shetland house was generally taken up by uh, chests, chairs, beds, um, presses so things to store things in, things to sit on uh, and things to store things in that you could sit on so what they did for a table, generally speaking, when it was food time, was that um, they'd pull uh, all the chairs around for however many people was needing to eat, men, women, bairns, old and young, uh, and then an item of furniture could be a chest or it could be a chair. Was set down like that, uh, with a skull on top, and the fish and tatties were all arranged to put everybody positioning themselves around about the skull. And the cutlery, there's the cutlery, your fingers, and people just took it like that. And uh, the washing up must have been the easiest task in the world. One dish, and soak your own fingers clean, and that's it. And uh, the name itself in Shetland Skull means, um, I suppose, like a, like a big oblong box. So the word could also be used for, say for example, um, a different type of wedding box that was used for uh, shooting fishing lines out of. Same word. The English word for this thing would be a trencher. Mm -hmm.